Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. Well, a few days ago, uh, last week in fact, Electric announced that they had something brand new that was coming out on the market, and I got kind of excited about it. I said, okay, they just released the X-Peak, now they're coming out with something brand new again, and uh, I was trying to figure out what it would be what that was, you know? We were all guessing. A lot of people online were talking about it, people were throwing out guesses. Well, they finally introduced it this morning, and so here we have the Electric One. So what they're calling it, Electric One. And, uh, you know, first of all, the name was like, oh, that's kind of different, right? Is this the, the only one? Is there going to be a two? Is there going to be a three? You know, who knows? But just kind of an interesting name, the Electric One. So what is it? This is a commuter-style bike, okay? And we're back to the, what it looks like, the 20-inch wheels here. Um, you know, I think this was going to replace the X-Premium because they kind of did away with that mid-drive motor thing uh, coming out with that. And this is going to replace all that because this one is a mid-drive, it is a belt-driven, and it has smart shift technology. So they're saying this is kind of like driving a car. You just got to be able to just jump on this thing and go and just really enjoy it. So let's take a close look here at this picture right here. You know, we got a small headlight, we got 20-inch tires, we got, we'll come back to this maybe, no suspension fork. You know, big foul in my opinion right here. It's a commuter bike, it's got street tires, so they plan for this to ride on the roads, but you and I both know that roads and sidewalks and bike paths and bike lanes, oftentimes these things are not in the best of shape or condition. And so now you've got this bike out there that does not have uh, front suspension. Uh, you know, we do have folding handlebars. We got a brand new display. We'll see that in a minute, maybe. Um, just a, overall, just a nice looking bike. It's a folding bike. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool looking. Wait a minute, that's not cool. $1,999. Now that kind of really goes away from everything Electric has done so far, which is building affordable, you know, budget-friendly e-bikes, right? This tells me that they're kind of reaching out, going into a whole new market. We saw that a little bit with the X-Peak, right? When they came out with the X-Peak, um, they put a lot of quality components in that, that $400 front fork that they touted. They, they uh, got it rated for e mountain bike, uh, the e-mountain bike rating. And it was still budget friendly at $12.99, but it was a better quality bike than some of the other ones that they had made. Well, now we have a good quality bike, presumably, with some really good components. I mean, that drive system, that belt drive, um, you know, their, their um, um, auto shift technology that's in here. I'll share more about that with you in just a second. All that costs something, and I get that, but $1,999. All right, we're going to come back to that. This, oh, it's got hydraulic brakes, which we would hope. It's got an app controlled now, so it's app integrated, which is nice. It's got a, a brake light, or at least they're advertising it's got a brake light. Hey, remember, uh, this thing isn't out yet. So they're building them now, and they're going to be out with them sometime in May. So we got a few months to wait, kind of like we, we did with the X-Peak. And a lot of things changed on that X-Peak. In fact, rumor is about 35 different things changed with the X-Peak. And some of them that they were originally advertising, when people started buying those things, simply were not available when they actually produced it and, and started shipping it out. So keep that in mind. The X-Peak was supposed to have a brake light. Um, this one is advertised as having a brake light. Let's hope it, it shows up with one. Um, let's get back to this, uh, this smart pinion shift technology. So there's a couple of YouTubers that have already produced their infomercials, I mean, produced their videos. Uh, because they were invited out to Phoenix when they unveiled it uh, and, and they were able to get some videos made already and they released those videos today in coordination with the release of this new uh, product. So I watched a couple of those and this is really sweet. So this has auto shift technology. So you don't have gears that you have to change. There's a setting in the amp where you can go in there and tell it to automatically change your gears based on the speed. So when you start pedaling and as you start reaching a certain speed, it automatically changes gears for you so you don't have you know a whole lot of ghost pedaling or you're not pedaling real fast it automatically changes to the next gear and you can just keep on pedaling nice and smooth and it looks i'm gonna be honest with you it looks very sweet okay it just looks really really sweet um so that part is is very exciting you know i don't know uh they said semi-automatic shifting and that's because they give you the option i guess you can turn that feature off and then you can still manually shift if that's what you so choose uh, so you can read about that go out there on their website 
Uh, it is belt driven, and a lot of people are like, "Oh, great, it's belt driven." And me, I don't, I don't care so much. I mean, it, okay, so it's got a belt instead of a chain. Uh, a belt doesn't need to be oiled, so they're already really pushing hard. Hey, there's no maintenance, no maintenance, no maintenance. And okay, that's fine. Um, I guess I don't know. Supp supposedly it's better. I've never owned a belt driven bike before, but supposedly it's better. They're saying for serious commuters and everyday riders. So they are making this as a commuter style bike, right? So keep that in mind. But they know people are gonna use these things just for everyday riding. One of the things that's great about this, and I'm not sure if it tells us in the text, I'm not gonna read that. And that is this thing is pretty much waterproof. They're saying you can use it in all weather conditions. So that's kind of nice. So if you do take it to work and you get caught in the rain on the way home or something, you don't have to worry about it. The bike is gonna be safe. So I really super like that feature as well. They've got some cool pictures here. Uh, you know, people that have already uh, started riding them and using them. Um, one thing that watch out for, and this may not be a problem at all, but in one of the videos, there was a camera angle showing someone riding the bike. And to me, it looked like the pedal on the downstroke was kind of close to the ground. And if you notice in all these pictures that they show online, the pedals are parallel to the ground. So that's where it's parked, right? It's, there's one, but you can't see what the bottom, you can't really tell how close it is to the ground. So I'm not sure. It may, it may not be a problem. I just, one of the observations I had when I saw the video was like, whoa, is that, a, is that an issue? Uh, 750 watt motor. Uh, so lots of power. One of the videos, I think it was from Electric Bike Report, uh, they were showing it. No, no it wasn't. It was e-bike escapes, I think. Uh, they were just showing how this thing performed. And I tell you what, um, this thing's got some kick. In fact, he said the front wheel came off the ground just a little bit. That's a setting you can adjust, and he had it to the max. But this thing shot off like a jackrabbit. It's kind of cool for those who like speed and like that kind of aggressive riding. It could be like really fun. Oh, it, it could be really, really fun. Let's just say that. Um, so he, that's, you know, it looks like a great little bike. Um, you know, $2,000 is, is pricey, but you got to think about the technology that they're putting into this thing. And it's, so it's different. It's different. You know, it's not going to be one of their cheap $1,000 bikes. This is a $2,000 bike. And uh, is it worth it? Um, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Here's the thing, <clears throat> here's what I don't like. Go back to the front suspension. You're buying a $2,000 bike and they give you a rigid suspension. So there is no suspension on the front, nothing. And so we just had the X-Peak come out where they, they touted that, that, sus that front suspension, that front fork, $400 fork, $400 fork, it's the best thing since you know sliced bread. And then the very next bike they come out and they give you nothing. I just, I, I don't care for that. Because we know, you know, bike paths and things can be rough and I just... I wish I had a front suspension. <clears throat> Next thing is, let's take a look right here on this page. Next thing is the battery. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a letdown. So you have your standard battery, which is a 10 amp hour. That's pretty small. Yeah, even though it's a mid-drive, even though it's got that torque, it's got that auto shifting, you know, all that, they're... they're, they're PWR system or whatever it is they call it where it's kind of like a hybrid sensor uh, You know all that helps to give you a little bit better mileage. So, okay, I, I get that But still 10 amp hour for two thousand dollars You know, it kind of reminds me of another bike that I had once uh, called the K1. Yeah, go look at that video I'll maybe put a link to it up here um, Yeah, that's that would be uh, I just don't know. I just don't know you know, without the, the automotive technology and stuff that's built into this bike right here, I'm seeing a $1,000 bike, right? I mean, I've got bikes on the floor right here. One you haven't seen yet, it's a $1,000 bike, and it's well-equipped, and it's, and it's, you know, similar in style. It just doesn't have all that automotive technology. So does all that technology equal another $1,000? Maybe, but 10 amp hour. They do give you the option to get a longer range battery. And so if you click on that and check it out, it is a 14 amp hour battery. So that's pretty much their standard battery pack. So at least we've got that, uh, that we can, we can go for, but you know, that is another, you know, a couple hundred dollars more. 
Uh, understandably, it's a bigger battery, but now we're up to $2,200 for a 14 amp hour battery. So I think it was, um, uh, what was what's the channel? I'm not real familiar with this channel. I, I don't watch it often, but uh, the e-bike reports, e-bike, not e-bike escapes, but electric bike report or something. I don't remember the channel. I was watching one of his videos because he was talking about it this morning. And he mentioned in that that there's actually supposed to be a third option um, in that they're going to come out with what sounds like maybe a 20 amp hour battery, of course, for quite a bit more money. <clears throat> so that would be enticing, but then we're probably talking like a $2,500 bike or something. I, I don't know, guys, I'm kind of torn. Small battery, no front suspension. <clears throat> Those are just two of the things that I, I just don't care for. Other than that, you know, I think it's a pretty awesome little bike. Um, I call it little because it does look pretty small. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty small by a, a lot of standards. Here's a, a little picture of the display. So that's their new color display that's going to come on this bike. So away from the standard monochrome black and white color, or black and white, excuse me. So that's kind of cool. And they, you know, here's a little snippet of information uh, talking about the bike. It is UL2849 listed. Uh, they do have the same M24 stealth motor that they put on the, I think it's the same one they put on the X-Peak. Uh, but it's supposed to be like super, super quiet. Okay, they even advertise here 400% more quieter. So it's probably the same motor as the X-Peak has. Um, you know, 55 pounds with the small battery, so nice and light. Uh, I can accommodate riders from 5.2 to 6.4, which is real nice. Um, max payload is 330 pounds. I mean, so there's a lot of good specs here that I really like. It's a thumb throttle. Um, you know, got the city tires on it, but those are, if I'm not mistaken, they were Chow Yang, weren't they? Maybe. Um, nope, hippo, hippo skin. Yeah, maybe. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. You know, is it a hit or is it a miss? Uh, certainly the technology is pretty cool, but the price is just way out there compared to everything they've had up to this point. Am I going to get one of those? Well, they're never going to send me one. <laughs> we all know how electric feels about my channel. You know, it's, it's, I'm tempted. I really am. You know, I just purchased the X-Peak. And I purchased that with my own money. It wasn't something they offered and I'm probably sending it back yet. I'm, I'm really torn by sending that, that back because Gary over uh, at Gary's E-Bike Adventures, he came out with a solution this weekend to fix the wobble. So the wobble f should be fixed once I get this $100 part that I ordered. Uh, so that's gonna you know, take care of that. And then I'll have that bike and it'd be kind of nice. And, and I'll share with you here, because I thought I was sending the X-Peak back, I actually found something else I liked and I bought it and it showed up just today, so I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I'll reveal that to you soon. It was going to be my replacement for the X-Peak, but the point is I just went out and spent a bunch of money on another bike, and I really don't want to go out and buy this one, but the only way to get my hands on it is for me to buy it because Electric's not going to send it out to, to my channel. Tell me what you think. Should I or should I not? Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? I don't know. I tell you what, I'm going to need a lot of help out of the community if I do get it because I need thumbs up, which really helps spread the videos wide and far and it helps the views and it helps the advertising that YouTube puts on my videos uh, and all that helps me to do things like this. I, I can't afford to buy bikes very often and so I have to be selective when I do, but it sure looks like it's a nice ride. It really does. I don't know. You know, if I get it, this might be something that I would want to keep long term, just based on its technology and how smooth it seems to operate. I think I would really enjoy that. I would probably have to plan to add another battery to it, a second battery and wire it in, just to give me the range that I want. Because uh, if I'm gonna have a bike like that, I'm gonna to wanna to ride it and take it on these longer rides with me that I go on. And uh, I, I would have to have you know at least 20 amp hours or ideally you know closer to 30 amp hours is what I would like to have. Because I run my 20 amp hour batteries down pretty low on a lot of the rides I go on. And sometimes that range of size sets in. So I'd like to have a little more cushion when I'm riding. So that's something to consider too. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. Tell me down below what you think. Should I go for it? Should I not go for it? Who's on board with me, huh? <laughs> Tell me what you think. Is this something you would consider? Is it something you would buy? 
based on the technology you're seeing. Go check out some of the writing videos and things that, are, that were released today by a couple of the YouTubers that were uh, invited out to Phoenix uh, for the unveiling and uh, see what they have to say. Although just remember, a lot of these guys, they're just going to tell you all the positive. They may not share all the negative and things that you see uh, from this channel here. And you'd have to wait until I actually got my hands on one of these things to see what I really felt about it. But I think it looks like it's a pretty sweet bike. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video real soon. Make sure you ride responsibly and ride safe.